Good morning, good morning. It's Jenny Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another fun and exciting pour, hopefully. <laughs> you've got to start off um you've got to start off positive, haven't you? Wishing that way. So I hope that I find you uh, all coping well and the best that you can possibly do is keep yourself occupied with things that give you joy whether it's your art or walking exercise um, being with family and friends just give you uh, yeah I just believe do something that gives you joy it just makes everything in life so much easier to cope with Okay, I'm just going to go, today will be flying by the seat of my pants and just doing a f whatever suits me as, as the um, art takes me, whichever direction it, it all takes me. Okay, I will be using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. Really good news for the people that don't want to buy two litres. It's now becoming available in one litre. Um, so... I mean, it's more beneficial, obviously, for me to always have the two litre because I, I paint nearly every day. Um, but the one litre is probably easier to handle for most people too. So that's a really good thing. And they'll be available at Capriole Shabby Chic soon. This particular mix that I've mixed up today is with my clear PVA glue at 70-30 mix. Um, but my description and how I do it is in the drop down box below this particular video so that's all there for you and I have put a couple of drops of the Helmar silicon some people are mentioning that they can't not find in this silicon in the US um, but Chad Booth a guy that's in um, I think he's in New York I believe so he can get it and he said he I'm sure he said he gets it off Amazon so um, I'll have to get on to Helmar and say you need to have a good stockist in the US because it, I found it to be the best myself okay let's go with this I'm trying to make a flower garden of sorts I've been on this flower garden thing a bit this week um, so I'm gonna keep with it just just trying something that's in my head so I will just go with it I'm going to use um, this is the just the Montmartre white and I've just pre-made it up in this container so I'm gonna pour this on here to coat my canvas this is not necessary but from the style that I have kind of in my head that I want to do I'm just gonna put this paint as my coat to make the other paint slide over so just bear with me and go with the flow and we'll pour our heart out together <laughs> yes I often wish you could all be talking to me while I'm painting or painting together wouldn't that be a thing hey um, like-minded people having a good chat and a laugh over a bit of uh, coffee and lunch and and painting what better life hey would be so nice I'm so sorry that you can't all be living um, the life where we're all free enough to travel and join one another if you so wish to do so but hopefully you know you have to look hopefully that will be in the future so okay that's using my fingers I just felt like a bit of finger painting today and a good thing would be to put my overhead lights on is that any better for you guys or just grabbing a cloth um, lucky enough that I've got lucky enough that I've got my art studio is of my husband with the help of my husband converted it into my art studio so we had the laundry in the back of our garage so it's really handy to have that water there from the laundry you know the sink and the it's really handy okay all this paint was I've made it up really runny because it was made for a pour that I'm yet to put on YouTube yet but it was really runny so 
The only thing I can sort of think for runny is a swipe. So I'm going to kind of do my flower garden down here, like so. Big smiley face to you all people. That's big smiley face to you all. So that was the, I believe that is the, the Montmartre Studio Acrylics Violet. This is the orange and I uh, always add a good dollop of um, yellow. Just makes it really nice and vibrant and bright. I think a lady recent this morning asked me to do a pour with purple, orange and white, but I'm not just keeping it to those colors today, but I will try and do that another day. So this is my lovely turquoise at the Mont Mart, which I just love. So I'm going to do okay. Got to add a bit of this. I think this is the magenta, or it might be. No, I think it's the magenta. I think it is the magenta because I've got a few different colours here. Okay, let me go with that for now. Now I've got a little plan. Okay, I've got a little plan. I'm going to see if it works. But we just try. So, so, so. So I'm going to do a little bit of swipes up here because I want to create a life up here and then I'll do a swipe down that way. So. I'll just see what my, this is just a bamboo skewer. So if it doesn't swipe enough color up, then I'll use something else. So I'll use my bamboo skewer because that white is falling back in. So it's not leaving I think I seen I love Kathleen Osmore's work at Cos Creation. She does some beautiful swipes and she's just such a fun, lovely lady. Um, I think her and I would get on really well because she's just so lovely and fun. Um, but I've seen her do, it wasn't exactly this, but of course I always put my own twist on things, but something similar where she swiped up from the bottom color so and it's actually quite peaceful doing this and nice so give it a go ladies or gentlemen ladies and gentlemen whoever's out there I didn't think this skewer would work quite so well but because I've got that white is closing in it's um all good all good now try something a little bit thicker to see if now I need a really thin piece of I need a thin piece of um, soft plastic but just just a little bit thicker than the skewer just a, a few sort of leafy shapes up there let's see how this one goes I'll just try it might not work oh yeah that that gives a bit thicker but I do like the thin and whip whipsby 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 wispy that's it okay let me let me okay now my thing is I want to swipe this down you might say no but I'm going to um, what do I want to swipe it with maybe I'll try oh, this this was oh my goodness I've got two reds one's magenta one's carmine and one's brilliant red so I'll try with this one I'm not gonna Gonna, 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 gonna. Ugh, should I? 
let me just okay where's my swifty swipe let me just this is my swifty swipe it's just got a piece of soft plastic file divider taped crudely to the top there it's all soft on the bottom so I can use it to swipe I just want to see I haven't done a swipe colour because I thought there you go I'll just use the orange that's already there but the orange is kind of making it look a little bit mucky but we'll go with it because I'm going to do some embellishment as you know that I love to do nice and peaceful here today I mean not that it isn't every day but the dogs are resting beside me they've had a, a good run good walk out this morning with my husband and I and oi oi um, wow okay I might give that a little bit of heat my wonder one now Oh, sorry, darling, I nearly trod on your ear. My puppy, he's growing so fast and he's a very big boy. I didn't realise that standard poodles were quite as big, but he's a big boy. So he's only, uh, I don't know, four, mu four months? Or I think so now, I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, this is, a, I call it my wonder wand. But they're actually called, if you're trying to find one, order one, embossing heat wand, embossing wand. So it's, or you look up heat wand. In Australia, you'll find the link for Sabriol Shabby Chic have them. And also Amazon if you're in the US or UK. little idea the, the paint might be a little bit too wet so if it is I have to leave the paint for a little while if it's too wet to use my little balloon that's got water in it for embellishing so I'm going to do some kisses but I'm going to use those kisses up here as little dainty duvalakis Looks like little, very sweet, very sweet. Ooh. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yes, Kathleen did do this with. Oh, she didn't. I don't think she used a balloon. No, I'm not sure what she used. But a balloon is a lot easier <laughs> to use than any other tool, I believe. If you want to add some little embellishments up there. Oop. we'll sort those out in a minute so all good this is very delicate so unlike me but you know <laughs> You just try a bit of everything as you do in life. Oh, that one didn't even come out. I think if the paint is just that little bit drier, if you leave it alone, walk away from it, from the paint, um, then come back. It's easier to do your balloon kissing. And I believe it would work equally as well. Oh, look at those colors, they're so sweet. 
So sweet. Love it. It's very relaxing. It's very calming. <laughs> so I definitely advise it. Just go in your own sweet way, seeing what you create. So my little flower gardening's beginning to sprout. Um, and obviously if you wanted to do bigger flowers up there or bigger, then you just use a little bit bigger balloon. But um, kind of half of these look like butterflies, so they're quite pretty. And down here is developing lovely, very nice. So quite happy with this little thing that I had in my head that originated from seeing Kathleen do something similar but I know she didn't use a balloon um, because a balloon is my most favourite thing to use as you know for embellishment because it's just so versatile you can do so much with it. So it's creating this down here. I might put a few odd ones in as the little butterflies but yeah probably less is better but that's never my mantra is it I always go a bit crazy with it all so I'll do lots of nice little balloon kisses on the bottom on my bottom on this bottom um, and just keep playing with it so please have a go this is so relaxing it's very um, delicate and nice. So much fun. So hope you've enjoyed that video. I will put some photographs up on the end so you can see how much further, if any, I do go. Um, I'll probably just, just keep playing with this for a little while, but I'll put the dry photos up on the end. And of course, they will be on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page um, and if you would like to join us and show us your, your own work please join our um, acrylic pouring Australian acrylic pouring group on Facebook and that's where you can show me and others your work or seek help and advice because we have a lovely community on there that's absolutely wonderful at um, helping other people out which is what I really wanted so there you go people I think that's that's quite enough really there now I only go and do a bit too much so I'll just give it a turn around for you to see if I can do this without dropping it Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's absolutely free. I know you'll be reminding me. I haven't said my joke, have I? I will have to give that a thought. I think, I think. Anyway, I'll bring you up closer. And um, I might add my joke to the end in the pictures, in the photos at the end. So there you go. Very sweet, very delicate. It would be nice on a really nice big canvas. So I might just work in a few kind of, I might dip in my skewer in some green and do some kind of leaves on there. But, or I might just leave it. So I'll, I'll um, have a think about that one. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, until next time, bye for now. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Um, yeah, just be there for, for, you know, just take care of yourself first and foremost and the rest will all happen. Okay, bye for now. Okay, here is my Nana joke for the day. What weighs more, a gallon of water or a gallon of butane? A, the water, butane, butane is lighter fluid. Yes, you may roll your eyes. What kind of shoes does a lazy person wear? Loafers. 
Okay, roll your eyes. Bye for now. Hope you enjoyed that pour. Thank you.